Hi there everybody, uh, I thought I'd just give you a little message this morning. I'm sorry that I can't be with you, but as some of you know, we're having to self-isolate as a family this week. I'm hoping that we'll be all back with you next Sunday. But there's some really important news which I wanted to share with you, uh, and that is about our youth minister uh, appointment. Um, Eddie, as you know, is going to be leaving in the next uh, couple of weeks. He, his last um, uh, working day is going to be July the 28th. And uh, we're going to be having a proper farewell do for the whole family on August the 29th at the end of the summer. So please do book that in your diary for a real proper um, family Thanksgiving celebration of all the ministry that they've uh, contributed in these last three years. And as we look back, and we'll look back in more detail then, you know, it's amazing that, that God knew when we appointed Eddie that we would have a pandemic ahead and that we needed more than anything a, a real pastor, a pastor to pastor the young people and, and parents too. And Eddie has totally been that and uh, has done that so amazingly. We just thank you uh, and thank God for him and uh, we'll continue to thank him properly at the end of August. But I wanted to update you on where we are now. Uh, as many of you know, we advertised a couple of times for a like-for-like -like replacement for Eddie over these last few months. And um, we had uh, interviewed a couple of people, we chatted to a few others, uh, applicants. Uh, but in the end, we just didn't feel that any of those who applied were quite the right people for this role at this moment in time. And so we went back to the drawing board and, and sometimes, you know, God. God says, you know, you've got a good idea, but I've got a better idea. And your idea might have sounded good to you, but this is the path that I want you to take. And as we prayed and discerned and were open to God, God has led us uh, down a new and really exciting path, which is a temporary path. Uh, we're going to go and review it all in February, and we may put out the advert again in February, or God may lead us to something new. But as part of this uh, new temporary um, oversight of, of the youth, we have this week appointed uh, a children and youth intern uh, for the next few months. Uh, and I'm delighted to say that children and youth intern is uh, George Wharton, who is going to do that as part of his gap year. George is um, hoping to go to Australia at some point next year, but because of COVID, that's all up in the air. And so he's, he's committed to at least um, working with us until January and hopefully a few months longer for us. And hopefully then he'll get to Australia as well. And George will be taking over some of the roles that Eddie's been doing. So George is going to be joining the team in, in Pathfinders, which is Simon McCauley and uh, Sophie Wharton and Anya's just joined that group too. They will oversee Pathfinders next year. Um, George is going to be doing some mentoring with some of the younger youth, uh, be a mentor for them. He's going to be organising social events uh, for the youth to just try and keep the youth together. They're a great um, close-knit group of young people and we want to just continue uh, that momentum and, and George is going to do that and, and have events which we can hopefully invite friends along to as well. He's going to do a lot of the administration uh, that Eddie was doing as well and we're also talking, and George is very excited about this, um, about putting on Youth Alpha in October. Uh, for our own youth and uh, for them to bring their friends from the Chase, from MSJ, from other schools, uh, one, uh, one uh, afternoon after school, probably starting in October. So I really encourage you to pray for that and, and pray that God would uh, just be at work in young people now who he wants to bring along and that we'll see uh, just amazing stories from Youth Alpha then as we have done uh, through with the other two online courses that we've done in the last 18 months. So that's some of the, the things that George is going to be doing. Uh, in terms of the older youth, Chaos, which Georgia is part of, um, I'm going to be joining the team for the first few weeks of next term. Uh, a team of, of Simon Noble and Ellie Quinlan, um, who are helping out Eddie, have uh, been helping out Eddie up to now. And I'm going to lead the shape course with the older youth with Chaos. And I'm really excited about doing that. I think it's a, uh, it's a great course to do at this point in their lives as, as we just explore what who has God made you to be? What's your purpose? What gifts has God given you? And how does God want to use you? So uh, pray for that with the older youth. 
My Alice is going to oversee the mentoring program, uh, which is already very strong and we're going to continue next year. And every young person, if they want to, will have the opportunity to have a mentor. And Alice will oversee the mentors and the youth in that setup. And we're also going to put together a youth um, oversight committee of a, a few parents, Helen Attery, Alice, one or two others, who can have that overall vision, keep that overall vision of the youth in this time. So that's some of the really exciting news that we wanted to share with you and I want to just encourage you to pray uh, for George, for all the youth in this difficult transition for them. That, you know, God would be with them, that God would um, just be at work and grow something new in this next season. And that he would grow their faith, he would draw new people in to join them in, that, in the youth and that God would do far more than we could ever even hope for or imagine in this season. So uh, in a moment, George is going to give our reading this morning, um, but I wanted to just encourage you with that news. And uh, I'm just going to pray for George right now. Lord, we thank you so much for George. We thank you that um, you've called him and set him apart to uh, do this role in these coming months. We thank you for his servant heart, and we pray that you'll just fill him with your spirit, give him the gifts that he needs for this role. We pray for all of our other youth too, that you would um, just help them in this transition, that you help them to st step up and play their part too in, uh, in this next season. And we pray your real anointing on them, that you would grow them uh, as whole life, lifelong followers of you, that you'd give them a deep love uh, for you and that they would know your love for them. And so we offer our youth to you in this season and we pray particularly for Eddie and for Hannah and for Oliver as they prepare to finish here and move on to their next calling or ordination in, um, in Cambridge. So bless them we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thanks everyone and uh, I hope to see you soon.